Welcome to How to Create Your Podcast Intro and Outro with GarageBand Part 2. If you missed Part 1, that is where I talked about how to actually create your voiceover. In this video, we're going to go ahead and import the music track and mix it with your voiceover to create a professional sounding intro and outro. Now you will want to have your podcast music track that you want to use already uploaded into your iTunes library and you're going to access it over here by clicking on the media browser and then it will bring up a lot of different places where you might have music. Go to iTunes. If you know the name of it, that's usually the easiest way. Type it in the search box and it magically appears. And then the cool thing is that all you have to do is drag it over into the screen and GarageBand will just go ahead and create a track for you. Now, I know that I want the music to play a little bit before you actually hear the voiceover kick in. So we're going to close that screen out, highlight these two regions, and then just drag them over here. And let's hear how this sounds. Okay, I can tell already that the music is way too loud, so we're just going to turn that down a little bit here. Okay, and we will start there. And then I'd like to have the music fade in a little bit. And to do that, we go up here to the automation icon, tap on that, and now you can see the volume level. When you just click on the track, that yellow line is your volume level, and you can adjust that up and down right there. Now, what I need to do is create a fade in. And to do that, I'm gonna add some nodes to this volume line. So I'm gonna hit Control click, add a node there, add another one here, and then I'm gonna take the one that you can barely see right here and just drag that down. And let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'd like to move these two over just a little bit so that it comes in after you second bass strike. All right, let's hear how this sounds. Hey, this is Jen Eads, and you are listening to the Brassy Broad. Okay, so that organ is a little overwhelming there. So we're going to do the same thing now. We are just going to fade that down a little bit. So again, control, click, and control, click right here. And then we're going to do a control, click here, and a control, click here. And then we're just going to drag that down there to where it says minus 20.8. Drag this down here to minus 20.8. If you have trouble getting the volume the same, hold down the control as you slide it up and down, and it makes it much easier. Hey, this is Jen Eads, and you are listening to the Brassy Broadcast, and we are going to talk about... We could probably turn that up a little more. So just grab that, drag it up, drag it up. Hey, this is Jen Eads, and you are listening to the Brassy Broadcast. And we are going to talk about one, two, three, and four. And we can give that a little bit longer time to fade back up. One, two, three, and four. We have way more music than we need for this intro. So what we're going to do to cut off the excess is we're going to move the playhead a little bit. We'll move it right here because that looks like a good break in the track. We're going to highlight the track and then we're going to hit Command T. And you can see it's broken that into two different sections. And since this one is highlighted, we're just going to delete that. And four. Okay, but we don't want an abrupt end like that. So we are going to create the fade out here. So we'll do the control click 
to create the node. Another control click here. And we're gonna drag this down. Let's see how that sounds. Three and four. All right, there you go. Now you've got a fade in, a fade out, and you know how to put everything together and adjust your levels. So the last thing that you have to do, go back to the beginning, and it's time to export this and share it. And so you click on share, export song to disk. We're gonna call this test two mix. You can choose AIFF if you want the uncompressed, higher quality version, or if you need the MP3 where it's compressed already, go ahead and select that. I'm gonna go with the MP3 this time, and we're gonna hit export. And that's it. You have your professional sounding intro and outro. To see more tutorials and get more tips and tricks on how to create your audio content, visit brassybroad.com forward slash blog. See ya.